Hello, today I'm here with a new video and I am so excited for this video because I am going to try out the Blush Tribe and Paulina Beauty their palette they made together and I have been looking so forward to this palette and I think this is so awesome I have followed Paulina for a couple of years I don't know how many years but I followed her when she had her English no channel in Swedish. I have followed her for a long long time and I know how much she loved Blush Tribe and when she said that they were going to do a palette together I was like I need to have it because she's amazing, Blush Tribe is amazing, this can only be amazing and it is. So the palette looks like this so it's Paulina on the front and this is just the... I don't know what it's called cover this thing <laughs> and the palette looks the same and on the back side it's green and the inside like this do you see this this is such a unique palette in my opinion I think is really 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 nice so it's nine pans and yeah we're going to use this today and I don't really know what I want to do First I thought I was doing like an all matte look with these three greens. But then I thought maybe th that is a little bit boring. Or is it? I don't know. So I'm not sure. Or maybe do I want to try one of the glitter shades? Okay, I think I know what I want to do. So I will start with the eyeshadow base. Okay, I will start with this humble and take it in my crease and if you're not follow Paulina you should really do that and if you don't oh this is a really nice one and if you don't know anything about this palette she made a video where she talked about the shade names and what she wanted in a palette I will leave her um, channel up here in the card and also down in the description and I can leave her video when she talks about this palette um, so you can look at it I look at that <laughs> look at that and this green this is a really nice green and this eye my left eye it's like it's do not want to be with me because it's always fudging up it feels like <coughs> and I think I'm starting to get sick or something because my throat is so sore and also it's It does not feel good. I feel like <clears throat> not good. But I don't feel tired or anything. It's just my throat. Okay, so this humble is really, really nice. And then, yeah, I will take Solma and put it on my outer corner and inner corner because I will do, an, do a halo eye and this shadow seems amazing as well and it is okay, and I am not going to take this too far in because I always do that when I'm doing a halo eye something like that. I don't know how the colors show on the camera because I have I'm testing out some new settings on my camera because I am not satisfied with what I have so I have changed the settings and I really hope it's good. I hope so. So this is Sama and I'm also going to take it in my inner corners 
I'm gonna take a smaller brush for that. And I think I need a mirror. I don't like to put like a shimmer shade in my inner corner because I don't want too much of it. So I just have to like stamp it and it doesn't feel like I am in control. But something like this. Okay, so <laughs> for the like <laughs> the halo, I am going to use uh, this one. Uh, this is Friends and this is such a unique color. I don't have anything like this and it looks so amazing. So I'm going to start and see if I can have it on its own. Or if I need something a little bit more sticky. Okay, we will try to pack this on. So this is so nice. It's I think it works better with a sticky base. But you can easily pack this on. It's no problems at all. This color is freaking amazing. It is so so bright. I really love it. But I think I should have gone in with a sticky base to really make it pop. But I can work. I can work with this. So this is the lids. So I will take away all the fallouts and then I will fix my base and then we do the under eyes. Okay, so I am almost finished. I am going to do my under eyes. And I don't really know what I want to do. I was thinking about taking the Solma, this shimmer one, but they do not always perform as good <laughs> under the eyes as on the eyes, not under on, yeah. <laughs> so I think I will take Aubergine and this is from the Full Fusion palette, this Aubergine shade and I don't really mind. I'm okay with it. So I think I will take Aubergine on my outer here and in here and then take the Friends shade like I have it on my lid because I just love that. So I will take some Aubergine and as always I'm going to be super concentrated for this. Okay, so <laughs> something like that and then I will take Friends, this super awesome color and put it in the middle and I hope this will look good okay, I don't know how much this will show I think that this needs something to stick to and I have set my under eyes So it does not really stick. So maybe I should just go with. I just go with the purple. The brush in the whole way. Like that. And I will put on some mascara and also. I think I'll take a purple liner on my waterline and put on some mascara and also spray my face with setting spray because I feel so dry right now. So I'm going to do that and then I come back with the finished look and my thoughts about this palette. So this is the finished look and I am so happy how it turned out. I love the Friends shade that I have in my in the center of my eye. I am so glad with how it turned out and I really love this look and the shadows are so easy to work with, like all of Blush Tribe shadows. And I think that Paulina and Blush Tribe did a really good job with this palette. 
I haven't seen the palette like this, so it's really unique. And I'm glad that it's mostly mattes, matte shadows in this one. So for today I have used Friends, Humble, Soma and Aubergine. And they all worked great. And what I love about this friend shade, it didn't become strange when you mix it with other shades. I really love that and it was so easy to blend it together with Salma. So this is my first impression with this palette and I think you understand that I love this one. It's a really good palette and it's not my typical colors but I really start to like purple and green more or I start to like them because I have never liked them before but <laughs> I think I start to like them and this is a great palette. This is a limited edition and if you're thinking about buying it, buy it. I don't think you will regret it and I will use this so much more. I'm so looking forward to use it. So I really want to thank Paulina and Blush Tribe for doing this palette. It's an amazing palette and yeah, I'm so happy with it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!